Friendly Neighborhood Gamer here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be going over most of the working rune glitches in the Mogwin Palace area. But of course, before we get into the video, I gotta show my subscribers some love, so I'm gonna shout out to some of the new subscribers to the channel. So thank you, Midnight Ogre, Jim Jones, Savary, Extreme Mr. Fox, Squirrel, Jimmy Forbes, Benjamin Majewiski, and Hernan Maru. Thank you all so much for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Now with that said, let's get right into it. So the first one that we're going to be doing is going to be at this side of grace. Now this one, in my opinion, is probably going to be the easiest one to do. And why I think it's the easiest is just because you don't have to do a ton of parkour. You have to do a little bit, but it is the fastest way, in my opinion, to do this rune falling glitch in this area. But there is some other great contenders in this area as well. I'm not going to show every single one, but I'm going to show you my favorites and the ones I use the most. And be wary of this tree right here because if you get stuck behind it, then you're going to have to jump around it. But once you're to this spot right here, you're going to make sure that you pull out your weapon and you jump off and you swing endlessly until you receive the runes. And again, make sure you do this at night so you can get the frenzy eyes and that will give you five times the amount of runes. And be sure to use your golden pickled foul foot and your scarab talisman to get a boost in runes. And then of course, once you have received the runes, teleport out of there back to the site of grace and then you can rinse and repeat. Now the next one is also going to take place at this site of grace because most of them do. So this next one does involve a little bit of parkour, but it is also a great one as well. It's actually pretty quick once you get the parkour part down. And again, I want to reiterate that you want to make sure that you do this at nighttime so you can get the frenzied eyes. And what that is, for those of you that don't know, it is when enemies at night have glowing eyes, they give you five times the amount of runes. I also want to explain to those of you that might not know how these work. It's basically that you're falling so far from the map that it despawns the map up where you have jumped from and all the enemies fall to their death. And that's why you're getting all the runes that you get because all the enemies are falling to their death when you despawn the map from falling so far down. Now, like I've said previously, this area, the Mogwin Palace area, is going to be the best falling rune method area just because you get the best bang for your buck when you are killing these enemies and despawning them. Now this third one that I'll be showing you is also going to take place from this side of grace. Now this one's actually really, really easy for me, so I find this one of the easiest ones to do. Now anyone that is having trouble with these, it's probably because you're not doing it right. You're either not jumping out far enough from the cliff or you're hitting the cliff on the way down, which makes you unable to swing your weapon. You have to make sure in some spots that you clear the cliff completely before you start swinging your weapon or it will not work. And there's actually multiple ways to get to this one. This one's the easiest way, but there's also another way that I have done a video on that involves killing Mog and despawning him and getting the runes for that. So with this one, it's okay if you hit the cliffs in this one, as long as you're able to swing your sword on the way down. You do not have to swing your sword constantly. You can swing it about every 10 seconds and you'll be fine. After about the 10 second mark, you will hit a death barrier and you will die. So just make sure you swing every so often. Now the last one, which is the hardest one in my opinion, and I don't like it that much, but I'm just going to show it anyways, is this one right here that I'm sure most of us are familiar with, and it involves a tree. And from that tree, we're going to be jumping on the cliff and then jumping off that cliff. And that's it, you guys. I'm going to leave it from here. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comments. I try to get to all the comments, but sometimes there's just so many that I can't get to them all. So sorry if I don't get to your comment, but I try and get to most of them. So thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you guys next time.
Hit the damn subscribe button already.